Hello and welcome back to Tulip. This is a bonus video. I'd like to show off the schedules of all the residents, or all the above ground residents in Long Life Town after we've already kissed them. And we recently kissed Leo, so I'm here to show you his schedule. I'll be following him around, not for a full 24 hours, because he does go to sleep at some point, but for the duration of his schedule. You'll see that we're on a fresh save file. That is because Leo's interactions change once you've kissed him. So I'm going to start off by showing him, showing you what it's like interacting with him before you've kissed him. First of all, if you try to go into the tea house, this place is private. You can't go in. He won't let you in. So the entire time he's in, he's in there, you can't interact with him and you can't see what he's doing. While we're over here, I'm going to show you something we missed. If you come here after fixing the crosswalk button, but before seeing the scene in the park, this will happen. Ugh. A kid like you'd never understand my despair. Despair spelled incorrectly. Ha! A whip of love! That is the only time you can get hurt by Mr. Yamada. At least as far as I know. Ugh. A kid like you'd never understand my despair. Still spelled wrong. Go home. Go to the bathroom and go to bed. And there's the interaction we missed with Mr. Yamada. I knew that was there, but I didn't remember how to get it. We're gonna wait around until Leo comes out so I can show you the rest of his interactions pre-kiss. And then I will leave us there briefly so we can see the rest of his routine. So at about 5.10, 5.15, he comes out. And you can talk to him. We're about to open. His dialogue is the same as, as if at uh, yeah, excuse me, his dialogue is the same as if you've kissed him, you can show him items, you can do everything you need to do. However, huh? You're kind of smelly. Every time you talk to him or show him an item before you've kissed him, he says you're smelly and he hurts you. While we're here, I think I am going to show you something else. We know now that to kiss Leo, you have to take a bath correctly. But what happens if you take a bath incorrectly? Here comes Leo. He goes in through the women's side. Let's take a bath. <laughs> Let's take a bath. Scale here. Chuck weighs 122 pounds. Into the bath. Let's skip all that fluff and just go right in. Listen to his lovely theme song in the meantime. Feel great. But someone does not feel so great. Hey! Oh my, you don't even know how to take a bath? Kids these days, not good. You can't clean yourself like that. That's what he says if you do anything except the correct way to take a bath. I'll meet you guys back here in just a moment so we can see his full routine after we've kissed him. We're back, and this time we have kissed Leo. Leo's schedule doesn't change once you've kissed him, but you can see much more of it. Once you have his kiss, you're allowed into the tea house. He wakes up at 8 o'clock sharp, comes right out of the boiler. And the first thing that Leo does in the morning is brushes his teeth. Just like any good person concerned with hygiene would. While Leo is standing over here, you can talk to him. Hi there, Chuck. Do you want some tea? You can have tea. I'm not going to do it now because, well, first of all, it takes a lot of time, but also I'm going to show it off later. But yeah, you can have tea with him as long as he's standing here. Now we are just going to stand here with him. I might go silent because it's a lot of time to pass. You can skip through this or fast forward through this part if you want. 
But this is actually important because you need to have him here in this position if you want to progress a certain person's plot later. So we're just going to sit here for a while and observe. If you talk to him after you get his kiss, he won't hurt you anymore. Not that he ever really did enough damage to really, like, worry about it. But, you know, still something to worry about. You can see here you have plenty of time to have tea with him if that's something you want or need to do. Just standing there doing nothing. As creepy as, as it is that he's doing nothing, this is the game giving you a window of opportunity. If you hear those little humming sounds, I am pressing the triggers. It's very hard to hear, so I'm trying to take advantage of the lack of music. I have no idea if you guys can actually hear that or not. Any moment now, Leo is going to decide that he's had enough of staring at the river, and it's time to get to work. Not quite yet, though. He's relaxing. He owns a tea shop. He does tea ceremonies for a living. And runs a bath. Half the deal of it, half his deal is just relaxing. At one o'clock, Leo starts working. At this point, you cannot have tea with him. If you talk to him, he says, I'm working. Don't bother me. If you go out of the tea house and into the bath at this point, you can see exactly how he's working. The sign up here says, Kame, Kame no you tea room, which means turtle bath tea room. Kame is turtle. No is a word that, that means of it, it's a particle it's a little too hard to explain right now and then you means bath if we come in here maybe it's too early if we come back in a little bit he'll have something to say to us oh you know what that's because he's filling up the women's side right now we'll go back in and watch him he doesn't do very much at this point he at a certain point, he will stop filling up the left side and come fill up the right side. He will accept items at this point if you need to show him something. He will tell you about things, but you can't have tea with him while he's working. That symbol on the back of his coat is the Japanese symbol for a bathhouse. At about 3.05, he stops filling up the women's side, comes on over to the men's side, and does the exact same thing. I'm working. Don't bother me. Now let's go see what he's doing. At this point, he's filling up the men's side, so we can get a little glimpse of what his work, work day looks like. Hey, wait, we're not open yet. And that's the water we bathed in. Straight from Leo's mouth. Come back when we're open. Freshen up. He is a lion head statue after all. Let's just assume that the water coming out of there is clean and fresh. Let's head back in. He should still be right where we left him. Still working. If you want to go in here and do whatever is in here, he won't, he, he, uh, he's not bothered by that. You can do this whether he's standing here or not.
There's the temple bell. At about 5.05, he stops filling up the bath, goes outside. You still can't have tea with him at this point because he's out of the tea shop now. We're about to open. So he's coming over to work at the bath. Turtle bath opens at 6. But he does get there a little bit early. Whoops, I'm going to get run over. <laughs> This is another one of those things where if you're watching him, he goes in and opens Turtle Bath at pretty much exactly 6 o'clock. But if you've been off screen and you haven't watched him do this, he will actually open the bath a little bit early. So when he goes, we didn't catch it, but he goes in through the women's side. 200 Z per person. Do you want to take a bath? He's going to stay here until the bath closes, and he doesn't really do anything. So I will meet you guys after the bath is closed. We're back. Leo is about to come out of the bathhouse. The bathhouse closes at 11. And he'll be out any minute now. That little click was the, uh, the sound of the counter coming up. And here he comes. Good evening. What are you doing out so late? watching you. So he's gonna walk right up back over to the tea house. He does not go anywhere else in town except for the tea house and the bathhouse. We're gonna watch him as he comes in. And right before he goes to bed, He fills up on water for the next day. Into the boiler to make things stay nice and toasty. And that's it. Leo goes to bed at about 1.15. And that's it for this bonus video. I'll see you guys next time for somebody else. Goodbye!